All charges against Michael Jackson for uh, child molestation have been dropped. We want to go back and revisit some things here. Michael Jackson, in uh, December 22nd of 1993, when he went on television to proclaim his innocence, here's how that looked. I am totally innocent of any wrongdoing, and I know these terrible allegations will all be proven false. You know, I look at the picture of uh, Michael Jackson there, Dick, and uh, I'm, I'm waiting. I just, I just can't wait to see if he and Lisa Marie Presley actually have a baby. <laughs> I want to see if the baby looks like Michael used to. <laughs> well, we'll learn some things there. Well, let's look at some look at some newspaper headlines that uh, have, have been uh, prominent since this case of, of child molestation came up. Uh, cops raid Michael Jackson's homes. Peter Pan or pervert pop star in sex probe. The uh, for the whole year since this thing came up, the American people have assumed Michael Jackson's guilty because the press has assumed he's guilty. Remember all the people who were talking. We had chauffeurs, we had bodyguards, we had cooks who ostensibly worked for him, saying, oh, yeah, I saw him in compromising situations. Oh, yes, he loved to sleep with little boys. Oh, yeah. And we had this young accuser and his dentist father, and everybody was saying, kids don't lie. You know, that's one of the things I hear liberals say all the time, psychologists and everything. Kids don't lie. They don't make it up. They don't know enough to lie. They're too innocent and young. Well, here's Gil Garcetti, district attorney in Los Angeles. Watch. Since August 1993, the Los Angeles Police Department, the Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Department, the Santa Barbara District Attorney's Office, and the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office have been investigating allegations of child abuse involving singer Michael Jackson. That investigation is now complete. So we have concluded that because the young boy who was, who was the catalyst for this investigation has recently informed us that he does not wish to participate in any criminal proceeding where he is named as a victim that we must decline prosecution involving Mr. Jackson. But they got no evidence. This is the point. There is no corroborating evidence. They impaneled the grand jury in Santa Barbara. Now a grand jury can indict this remote control unit if it wants to. You don't need hardly anything to get an indictment. You can indict a ham sandwich for crying out loud. There was no evidence. All the press reports, though, were that there were countless people who saw and witnessed and could testify that Michael Jackson had committed this dastardly deed. But they have no evidence. They can't proceed. This kid, guess what? This kid was given sodium amytal. I think it's what it's called. It's a truth serum. It's, a, it's like pentothal, except it's, it, it, they call it a truth serum, but it's also been used while people are under its spell to plant false images in their heads, and when they come off the drug, they think that what they thought then actually happened. So now people are speculating that Michael Jackson was set up, that the dentist was involved, used the kid as a tool. But how many of you have been thinking Michael Jackson was guilty for the whole year simply because the press had all these people uh, saying all these things? It's an accusation for which there's no defense. The minute the accusation's leveled, you're guilty. And if you have sexually harassed him, just the allegation, you're guilty. If you've molested a child, get the evidence. Uh, kids don't lie, you're guilty. And there's a great lesson here, folks, about not believing everything. This is a sensation-oriented, lazy press that cared more about the highlights and the pizzazz of the story itself rather than the serious content of the story. It's a great thing to keep in mind also as you watch other fabulous court cases and trials come to that, including O.J. Simpson. Uh, keep in mind that until a trial and until somebody has evidence, you know, the nature of the evidence is what matters, not the seriousness of the allegations, the nature of the evidence. Until somebody has some, you shouldn't believe a darn thing because you don't know. And neither did the press. Always a wise lesson to illustrate the press doesn't know what it's talking about. Anytime we can illustrate that, because it's most of the time, uh, we'll do it. This kid was given sodium amytal. I think it's what it's called. It's a truth serum. It's a, it's like pentothal, except it's, it, it, they call it a truth serum, but it's also been used 
while people are under its spell to plant false images in their heads. When they come off the drug, they think that what they thought then actually happened. So now people are speculating that Michael Jackson was set up, that the dentist was involved, used the kid as a tool. But how many of you have been thinking Michael Jackson was guilty for the whole year simply because the press had all these people uh, saying all these things? It's an accusation for which there's no defense. The minute the accusation is leveled, you're guilty. And if you have sexually harassed him, just the allegation, you're guilty. If you've molested a child, get the evidence. Uh, kids don't lie, you're guilty. From the cabin, the airliner is stabbing us. There's a miner behind us, and now he's grabbing us. From below us, and keeping us tying our souls tighter to something another. Do we know each other? Do we glisten where the opposition hovers and governs the after party that gathers above the gutter? I'll be holding the butter and bread. The only mother is dead. In the 93 case, did the family first go to a lawyer for civil damages for money before they went to the prosecutor? The inter that's exactly right. The interesting thing is, if the parents of the first boy had, had genuinely believed that their son had been sexually molested by Jackson, you would think the first thing they would think to do would be go to the police, but they didn't do that. They went to uh, an attorney, and the attorney then help them with some sort of plan to extract money from Jackson. And then they brought in a psychiatrist who, by the way, had no experience with children and uh, met with the boy several times. And it was only after that and after being given the drug that the boy then said, yes, Jackson did inappropriate things to me. I am not willing, as the author of the book that I wrote, to say I 100% know anything about Michael Jackson's life, to say what it was he did, for an instance, of Jordy Chandler. I have my own questions there. Yeah, I had a question a few minutes ago. You say that you have your own questions about Jordan Chandler's accusation against Michael Jackson. I was wondering, do you have any doubts about Michael Jackson here since 1993, and if so, why? Do I have any doubts about his innocence in 1993? Yes. If so, why? Why? Because I watched the testimony of June Chandler in the court in Santa Maria, his Jordy's mother, and I was, how shall I put it, um, unnerved by what she was saying. 
she was talking about Michael staying in the hotel room with Jordy, about Michael sleeping over at her house with Jordy, about Michael crying if he couldn't stay in the same room with Jordy. There were, this was all part of testimony at the trial. It was very unnerving. And I felt like he was in love with that boy. And whether or not there was anything more to it, obviously we'll never know. But everything that his mother was testifying to when I was reading between the lines made me very uncomfortable. Okay. But other than the fact that you feel uncomfortable, do you have any other reasons for uh, having doubts? That's a huge reason, honey bunny. There yeah. couldn't be a bigger yeah. reason. I sat inches away, feet away from Jordy Chandler's mother and watched her testify for hours and hours on end. And everything about her made me feel like she was a woman who was looking the other way. Everything about what she said. Now, does that mean that I think that Michael really did anything? I don't know. That's all I'm saying. But I'm not willing to say he didn't or that I feel that certainly not that I feel he didn't because I don't know. But I will say I was shaken by June Chandler's testimony. A giant dome is overhead, the sky has turned the color red, and everything is mechanical. Channeling the animals that encircle the soul the year. Neon in my form aware. Pay the fan for the robo taxi. Best be fair, cause the flow is nasty. Entering into a bright elevator and sinking below all the levels of earth. Down, 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 down.